Oh, that is that is quite the train smash. That's uh, not exactly what I expected. Hi everybody. In this week's episode, uh, like I said last time, we're going to have a good old-fashioned unboxing. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a blind unboxing because I've had this box for so long. It's been sitting on my shelf forever. Um, I've had it for at least five, six months. Um, I started this sort of builder box deal with a guy in Los Angeles, a seller that I've bought from before. Um, I'll link his details below. He's a reliable guy. Um, very honest, very upfront when he has... Uh, cars that m where the cards might not be in good shape and that that's the footnote to this one as well most of the cards in this box are supposed to be in pretty bad shape but i've bought cards from him before where he's described it as not perfect cards or damaged cards and they turned out okay so i mean i'm not uh, nothing in this world will ever be mint i mean you 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 can't uh, you can't expect to get something in in perfect nick every time or most of the time so um, when the guy says, look, when he's up front and he has got pictures, um, usually you, at least you get what you pay for. Uh, and I've got this at a, at, a, at a pretty good discount because because most of the cards are, are supposed to be wrecked. I don't know what the state of the cars and the cards are. I, in, in all honesty, I don't remember what cars are in this box. I know that it's mostly car culture and pop culture. Um, so I don't know which cars are going to be in here. I don't know what the state of the cars are going to be like. Uh, there's probably going to be a, a, a good couple of openers as well. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's crack this this uh, baby open and uh, we'll see we'll see what pops up. Um, I'm actually pretty cu curious myself. It's, it's it's a bit of a blind unboxing uh, from my end as well. So yeah, um, I'll get on that. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, open up the box and we'll have a quick look at the cars as I un unpack it and then we'll have a look at the, at the cars overall afterwards. Okay, so I've cut open the box already. Uh, it's a fairly big box and yeah, there's going to be some casualties in this one. Um, uh, I, I spot a few that I, that I know that I ordered extra, um, ones that are supposed to be on, on, on fairly good cards. Um, but there will probably be a couple of openings in here. Uh, okay, right on top is one that's not in the damaged card pile. Okay, so that's your your uh, Jaguar Lightweight E-Type mail-in from 2023. Uh, it's the only... Uh, if it picks up okay, it's, it's a fairly dark purple, uh, the, the colorway that they used for, for the 2023 mail-ins. It's a nice one. Um, my favorite probably for the year uh, of all the cars. I know a lot of people uh, like the Mini as well. I, I, this is the only one that I picked up from last year. So I, I didn't get, some years I skip all together. Some years I pick up one or two cars. Um, I think two two or three years ago, uh, we had we actually had our Toys R Us and one of our other toy retailers actually participating in the mail-ins. Um, I did a video on that. Uh, I'll link it, just do a quick link up up top um where we could get the the mail-ins at the till if we put i think five basics which was a pretty good deal i mean you didn't have to mail away for it or anything um that worked out uh, very well for us uh so that was the uh that was the, the the porsche and the ford galaxy the 65 ford galaxy uh in those in those green liveries from i think that was 2021 if i'm not mistaken but we haven't had the collaboration since uh a bit disappointing on that end because we actually got a pretty good deal um okay uh let's just have a quick there are multiples as well of, of some of these cars uh because i knew that some of them might be openers um so okay i'm just going to grab them so this is going to be mixed uh we have the t1 panel van the castrol the vw van which is always always a winner this one is on a pretty good card has a bit of a soft corner in the one corner, but it's but the card's fairly straight. Um, that's not too bad. It's a bit dusty, but that's uh, that we can that we can take care of. And then just underneath it, uh, something that might be an opener. Same car, also the T1 wagon, but this one you can see is is fairly 
uh, fairly bad. Um, it's got a, it has got, I mean, it's bent. It's not just a wave. Uh, there's a, there's a pretty bad vein all across it. Um, so this one is probably going to be an opener. Um, okay. This one is car culture. It's, it's the 935, the Porsche. Love this one. I think there's a, there's a, supposed to be a full set, I think, of the race day cars in here. Um, also damaged, damaged cars, uh, cards, but they, some of them much better. This one is, is a bit wavy, but it's not, it's not bent. So there's no, there's no vein in the card. So these you can, you can normally straighten out with a, with a, uh, protector. You leave it in the protector for a while. Um, and that, that should take care of the wave. As long as it's not creased, um, it's, it's not permanent. Uh, you should be able to straighten that up a bit. I'm going to put it on the other side. Uh, another one that's on a just about perfect card. The, uh, the cool combi. Obviously also always a, a fan favorite. Um, and this one, uh, you'll see. If have a look at the back on the other cards of the series. Uh, in, in some of my earlier videos, uh, you saw me pick up some of them off the pegs locally. Uh, so I picked up the, the Nissan Skyline van I picked up here, uh, the Amazon Estate I picked up here, and the dairy delivery I picked up here. Um, so this is the, I put in, I put in uh, an order for, uh, um, I think just the one. He said that he had them on, on very good card, cards. And I was afraid that I might miss out. If, if this showed up uh, on the pegs locally, this is usually the one that, that goes first. So um, I was afraid that if I um, did wait it out for when we got them, I might miss out on this one. And I'm glad I did because I did miss out on, on this one. That was the first one to fly off the pegs here. Um, and I would have missed it. So, so I've got one on it. Pretty much a perfect card. Uh, good corners. Uh, very straight card, pretty perfect. Uh, so that's that. I, but I know for a fact that that one I wanted on a good card, and I got it on a good card. Uh, just I, I spot this one as well. So there's a third uh, Castrol VW van in this box. This is the perfect one. So this is the one on a good card. Um, so crispy corners. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Little dusty, as I said, but uh, not too bad. You can have a look at the other cars in the in the set. I love these. I love these pop culture series. The the um, I don't remember what they call these, but the, the previous ones were the um, the racing fuel ones. I think this is the oil something oil rocket oil. Um, I'll I'll put the I'll put the um, uh, the link. Well, I'll just put the the the, um, the name of the series below. Um, Obviously, also you saw me get the um, the custom 62 Chevy pickup, uh, the combat medic, and the hauling gas was in that one video I made uh, around my birthday uh, last year. But I only posted it, I think, like in December. Uh, so this one, pretty good. So I've got I've got two fairly good ones and one pretty bad one. Uh, next race day, okay. So this was the peg warmer race day. The um, the Audi um, the R8 that seems to be this one along with the um, the Ashton Martin um, seems to be the peg warmer for for the race day set. Um, some people collect the Audis specifically, so they were happy to get it in in this livery, um, and it's not bad. I've I've, I've seen worse. Um, I've probably seen better as well. It's it's not my favorite one. You can probably see why this one is the peg warmer. Uh, card's pretty perfect. Uh, blister's good. Corners are good. Uh, yeah, this one goes in the perfect pile. Uh, that's, that's, that's fairly good. Uh, this one I can see is fairly good. Okay, okay. so this one... Um, this one is the Capri. The Ford Capri. Uh, this one is, is the one that, that was immensely popular in South Africa. This one was the first one to go. If uh, you, you would you wouldn't find this one hanging on the shelves uh, on the pegs here at, at all. Uh, first one to go, people were paying crazy money to get them, they were importing them left and right. Uh, so this was the first one because there's a long 
there's a long history of, of Capri and Ford racing uh, in South Africa motorsport. Um, so fairly popular model. Uh, one we saw here in South Africa, um, I think in the 70s, I'm not sure, I think late 70s. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a bit of nostalgia attached to this car as well. So yeah, uh, pretty perfect car, goes in the perfect pile. Uh, and then two that I can see a little wavy. Uh, this one is my favorite, obviously, the Mercedes, the AMG Mercedes C Class DTM touring car. Uh, in the uh, what did you what, what, uh, the it's, it says AGIP on the side, but this one I did a bit of a, a small write up for um, for Brad on the um. Orange Track Diecast, the, the guy that does the newsletter, the Hot Wheels newsletter, he has a power ratings um, uh, sort of series where he keeps track of all the ratings of all of the car culture sets. Um, and he asked me to just do a quick quick write-up on um, on two of the cars. I picked this one and I picked, picked the Capri. So um, this one has got the um, the authentic, or well, the authentic livery. There is something missing here. Um, I'll quickly look for a photo and I'll I'll, I'll post it uh, just here. Um, what the what the original livery did look at the it, the name the, the brand escapes my mind now. Um, but I'll yeah I'll 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 link that that quickly just on top. It's a bit wavy, but uh, I've I've seen a lot worse. Not too bad. Uh, def definitely you can you can get that straightened out. Um, the details are good in this one. I like the blacked out wheels uh, and rims. Uh, obviously, full premium. It's got uh, the details and the logos all the way around, uh, top, back, forward, front, uh, and then sides, obviously. So, this one goes on, the, I suppose, a pretty good pile, uh, near, near perfect pile. Uh, this one is probably going to be almost an opener. Uh, like I said, the Ashton Martin, not very popular. I'll probably end up giving this uh, to my son because he's a he's a big Vantage uh, fan. So anything anything AM Vantage uh, is right up his alley. Uh, the card is is very wavy but not bent. Uh, it, there's no crease on it, so there is hope to, to save this one. And I must say the corners the card's pretty crisp um, otherwise. So eh, might might be worth saving. Um, I did have another one en route um, at one stage, so I'll see. I'll see which one turns out the better one. This one can still be saved, but eh, might might pass it along. Uh, so that goes in the in the wavy pile. Okay, and then to the last two cars, uh, the same two of the same cars, and this is the. The ones that I haven't, the, the last, the last car from this set, um, I think it's called Racing Fuel, Racing Oil. Not sure. Um, the 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 Datsun 620s. Um, I got two of them. Uh, this one is in pretty good nick. A little dusty again, but uh, fairly straight. This one has. Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad either. It's really straight. It's got the big, big red motor um, logo on it. Like I said, I love these, love these racing brands and, and automotive parts uh, series in the pop culture range. Uh, got a bit of a soft corner here, but not, not nothing too terrible. Um, yeah, not too bad. A little dusty again, but um, yeah, I think. I think my friend Nick the Greek um, came through again. That's uh, I think yeah, most of the cards pretty pretty good. I mean we've only got the one that has got the the pretty bad crease, and it's one of the ones that I have three copies of, so not too bad. Uh, some of the race day ones are a bit wavy, but um, not too terrible. Not too terrible. Um, so yeah, I'll. Uh, just give you a few close-ups of the cars, um, but that's that's the unboxing. That is that's quite a quite a bit. It turns out to be quite a big pile. So I've got 
two two full sets, a couple of extras, and the mail in in this uh, in this patch. And uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, um, let's have a look at these uh, up close. All right, let's just pop this one out of the protector. I see it a little bit better, but it is it is dark. It's a dark purple. I did like that. There's a bit of glare on it, but um, uh, this is this is quite a nice one. I uh, like the uh, like like the model always. Uh, um, when you had one for uh, at, at quite a quite a discount price, I uh, picked up this one. Uh, and there's that's the back of the uh, the mailings. That's the 2023 mailings. Um, more or less in the in the way they came out. Um, let's take a look at the at the Castrol bus. This is the one that's. This is the wavy one, so uh, might as well might as well crack this one. Check that away. Okay, these are I love these these chunky buses. I know lots of people do. Um, lots of real estate on the sides and the top to do some branding and striping and deco so these are always popular nice and nice and heavy love those those white steelies to have on these uh, yeah that's a that's a definite winner right there I think that's going that's going on the shelf straight away yeah very nice love that uh okay so that's the the casual car let's do the the, the motor one actually quite like the the datsun 620 I'm, I'm i'm glad that we that we ended up getting another um a premium version of this one I don't remember when last we got a premium one. Um, obviously, there was a there was a super treasure hunt a couple of a couple of years ago. Um, the one in the camo. I don't think I don't recall us having another one since. Uh, there was uh, another one in that. I think it was at the Walmart set. Those those pickup pickup trucks. Um, there was a there was a six twenty in there. Um, but other than that, I don't think we've we've seen we've seen a lot of them. And the, uh, the other VW, I'm not going to be cracking this one open. I have a Springs livery on there. Cool combi, always a fan favorite. And the um, the rest of the set, great set, and probably not really a weak one in the in the lot. I mean, even the even the less popular casting, um, uh, which I would assume uh, most people would consider the the Amazon estate, the the deco on that thing is actually unbelievable. It's, if you've got it up close, if you, if you if you open one up, fantastic, really really good stuff. Um, and then just the, I'm going to just throw out the race though. We've seen a couple a couple of times. Uh, in other videos as well uh, this was the um, when we did the um, the 935 Porsche uh, obviously I mentioned that that uh, last year during the course of the year we had a number of, of um, was it well it was premium 935s we had 935 in the basic we had a super treasure hunt 935 um, and as mentioned before there's your your number 23 Porsche 935 for the year uh, signifying that it was a 2023 release um, this is probably um, this is probably my favorite one of the lots so uh, it's a it's a uh, it's a bit of a I don't know I, th I think it's I think the execution on this one is, is pretty good like the wheels they, they tend to use these uh, these wheels I don't know what they uh, do, do they call them the aero 
rims, I think. Um, but they do tend to use these wheels on the on the on the big Porsche, uh, so it fits, works well. You've got the 23 on the side, and then my other favorite from the set, this one. Probably my favorite for the set. This one would be second, uh, the Porsche. Uh, but the Porsche among the 935s, uh, that has to be right up there. Um, just get some focus on there. Loving, loving that yellow. And then just uh, a quick look at the other two. The other two and the, uh, obviously the one on the pretty banged up card, the Ashton Martin. It's a, it's a good color. It's not, not what you'd call a British, a British racing green. It's a, it's a bit lime for that. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too terrible. And then, yep, the, the Capri and the R8. Right. So that's it for this week. Uh, join me again next week. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please consider subscribing if you, especially if you want to keep, uh, uh, getting notified of new releases. Uh, I usually drop videos uh, either on Friday evening or Saturday morning depending on where you are in the world um, and then usually on a Monday morning for me uh, there's a there's just the, the, the pocket rider for the week which is a, a loose car that I quickly feature on a short. Uh, the one I've had in my pocket this week uh, was from last week's video. Um, I'm very tempted to keep it Keep it close at hand. It's a, it's a really nice, really nice Porsche 959. But, um, yeah, this one, this one might be a candidate for this week. So, uh, keep a lookout for that. But yeah, please consider subscribing and, uh, leave your comments below. Uh, if you have any ideas or requests for future videos, I've got a, got quite a few ideas still lined up. Um, but yeah, if there's something specific you want to, you want me to cover, uh, let me know. All right. Uh, have a good week and uh, I'll see you again next week. Keep well. Cheers.